Global weather. Global weather is another feature that's new to FlyQ6. Right now we're looking at the continental United States with a number of different weather layers on. Let's take a look. If you take a look at the middle column weather, we have radar turned on, we have METARs and TAFs, winds aloft, turbulence, icing, you can also put on surface winds and many other layers as well. You can use the altitude slider in the corner here to see what winds aloft and icing are like at different altitudes and so on. That's standard in FlyQ5. However, with FlyQ6, we now have the ability to look at a much wider region, specifically the entire world. So if I were to change my map settings, we just zoom out a little bit. I'm now seeing turbulence all over the world. I see lightning all over the world. Begin to see winds aloft at different altitudes all over the world and so on, icing and more. So for example, this is in Europe. I will for the time being though turn off maybe the turbulence just so you can take a look at the map a little bit more clearly. But that's in England, right across English Channel. We're now looking at France. So now I'm taking a look at the map from a global perspective. If I were to tap on the green circles, which in this case are the METARs and TAFs, I see in fact the METARs and TAFs for those airports. Also, by the way, I can double tap and take a look at the airport itself, and I see information about the airport available there too. So with FlyQ6, we're take, we've taken a number of steps to take a look at weather and navigational data from a global perspective.